All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with a fight review. So we're going to Saitama, Japan for Ryzen number 20, New Year's Eve, 112-pound catchweight, Lindsey Van Zant rematching Reina Kubota. Now these two faced each other back in uh, last June in Bellator with Van Zant coming out on top via a first-round rear naked choke, choked Reina unconscious. They decided to rematch each other, this time in Japan in Ryzen on New Year's Eve. So first round and starts and Reyna immediately starts outpointing Van Zant until El Van Zant gets a double leg about a minute in. Van Zant started working in close guard of Reyna. Uh, eventually uh, she passed to side control at about the three minute 30 second mark but Reyna quickly rolled off of her uh, excuse me rolled Van Zant off of the top of her to side control just straight up muscled her. Um, Reyna was, then was inside control and landed some knees by Reyna, but then Van Zant regained half guard and scrambled to stand back up, and Van Zant shot in again in the closing seconds of the round. Second round starts, and Reyna is again outstriking Van Zant, throwing a couple nice combos, and let me tell you something, Reyna throws some really nice combos, and she mixes in some body work too, which I really love to see. Uh, Reyna sprawls on a shot by Van Zant and starts making her pay for it. Um, get they get back up. Van Zant stuffs or shoots again. Reyna stuffs it again, and you could see that not only was Van Zant not working to set up her takedowns properly, but as the fight goes on, you're starting to see that Reyna was able to use the, her size advantage to really outmuscle and outstrength Van Zant, particularly in stuffing the takedowns. Um, so this, so then Reyna goes for a takedown, and Van Zant jumps on her back. Uh, from there, Van Zant goes from an armbar, switched to a triangle, had her triangle in a little bit, and as the um, seconds wore down, Van Zant went back and tried to stretch out that arm, and was starting to get it stretched out, but the bell signaled the end of the round. Um, so it was a real mo nice momentum shift there from the beginning of the second to the end of the second. Um, third round starts. And they come out, and Reyna sprawls on a double and starts kneeing Van Zant's head. And then Van Zant, you know, tried to roll, and she rolled the wrong way, giving Reyna side control. Uh, Van Zant starts trying to land knees to the body of Reyna from the bottom. Reyna's on top. She's not really doing much, but then she moves to north-south. Uh, Lindsay starts scrambling, and Reyna worked, started working on a Kimura. And I don't know why... Like, Reyna started on the Kimura when she had north-south, and she should have given it up as Van Zant started rolling, and because Van Zant was on her knees, and Reyna's still trying to work the, the Kimura, and it's like, no, don't work on that from there. Uh, so Van Zant was actually able to use some of the momentum from that Kimura grip to get back up, and then, um, but then she got stuffed on a takedown to side control again. Reyna moved to north-south, started landing some nice ground and pound to the body of Van Zant. Um, then Reyna was able to get her down to uh, excuse me, no, Reyna stood from there. She stood after the first time uh, and then Van Zant missed a spinning back fist and Reyna just kind of like Took her and muscled her to the ground a little bit. Um, Reyna got her down to half guard. And then mount. Started landing some hard GMP. And then Van Zant rolls over to full mount. To give Reyna full mount. And then she starts blocking her punches. But then the ref comes in. And because before that. Reyna was getting some hard punches down on Van Zant. And then so then. Because Van Zant was partially faced out. So Van Zant. Rolls over to give Reyna the full mount. Reyna's on her belly of Van Zant. Van Zant starts starts to block some of her punches and is trying to, you know, buck her off. And then that's when Herzog steps in and you're confused a little bit. But then it turned out that Van Zant's corner had thrown in the towel when she was get, eating the brunt of the ground and pound. Uh, so it gave... Reyna, the TKO win at 4 minutes and 42 seconds of the third round. So Reyna 
gets her vengeance. So, things to work on. So, for Reyna, she needs to start sticking to what works for her. Like, when she was going for that Kimura, and she held on to it way past when she shouldn't, it was unnecessary. And I think that's just inexperience on still on working submissions from the ground. So, I mean, stick to what works for you. She didn't have to go for it, really, for the Kimura at all. She should have been working on on the ground and pound going for the finish from there and I understand you know you want to try a new thing try to finish in a new way but you know keep that for practice until you have it down 100% really don't go for stuff in the fight if you're not 100% sure on it um, for Van Zant, she needs to work on striking to set up her takedowns and I understand it's a little hard to get harder against Reyna but she was just straight up telegraphing them and then, uh, no, well, no, I'll get back to this one. Uh, matches to make for Van Zant, probably, likely, most likely goes back to Invicta. Uh, no more catch weights, okay? Here's a fighter who is coming into this fight at her admitted walk around weight, taking on a girl who has to fight at this weight because they don't have a straw weight division in Ryzen. And she can't make the atom weight, the super atom weight, 108 pound limit that was made for her. She can't make it anymore. She has a hard time making it. So, and honestly, the, the size difference showed a lot more in this fight than it did in the first fight. Now, it could have been the rule set. It could have been the environment, the ring over the cage. But the size difference definitely seemed to take a, make a bigger impact in this fight than the first fight. Particularly as the fight wore on. Uh, for Reyna. Matches to make. Well, she needs to pick a weight class. Either be a straw weight. Or get your diet under control. And get more disciplined. And be a super atom weight. You're not going to keep finding fighters that want to find fight you at catch weight. Just in order to get a free trip to Japan. It's not going to keep. It's not going to last. So either pick straw weight. Get your diet under control. Fight at super atom weight. Pick one or the other. You're not that special that you should be getting all these catch weight fights. So, yeah. Find one and pick one. Stick to it. Uh, anyway, those are my thoughts on the fight. I thought it was a pretty good fight. Um, bit of a size mismatch, but, you know, Lindsay did very well in spite of it. And Reyna sh did show some improvements. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Uh, likes always appreciated. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time.